Hey guys, Handy Camper and Wifey Camper here. And today we're doing some uh, camper stuff, so. Uh... Thinking about some things you might need for a camper, and uh, this is a single axle camper. And if you just set it up like this right here at the campsite with the uh, with the tongue jack down and everything, and then you go in, it's really uh, really wobbly. You need some kind of stabilization, unless you don't mind it being wobbly. But when you get in, you see everything kind of shaking about and everything wife comes in there and shaking it all around but it's uh it really wobbles around so we've got some jacks we want to get some scissor jacks to attach to the back here but uh, the ones that I've seen already attached they were uh, attached to the, the railing right there but our tanks are in the way so we'd, we'd have to attach them to the bumper and uh, the things were really heavy, so instead we bought some of these stackable jacks. And they don't weigh anything at all. We're going to give these things a shot. Some stack jacks. And they're very easy to store. Yep. They can all go together. You can just shove everything in there. The other way. There you go, yep. You put all those little pieces in there just like that. And then you store them in a the container or wherever. Yeah. We'll get ready to set those up to see how stable it is. So hang around and uh, we'll get back with you. Okay. You getting it? How tight do I do it? Tight? Yeah. You want it to... Stabilize. Stabilize, baby. That won't raise it up or anything. It will. It just get it tight enough to where it's uh, good and sturdy. It sure will. It'll raise it on up. I think it's pretty tight. Okay. okay. Let's move on to this side. Which one? It ain't gonna matter at all. What you doing there, mini camper? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't let the dog run around this thing, honey, because you'll knock it over, okay? She's trying to get fresh air. The dog get fresh air. Mini dog. Doggy wow. camper is out here, too. She's just roaming free. Actually, I should go like I did over here. Yeah. Yeah, go wide. Go wide as you can. That's not too bad. Um, the only thing we'd have to do is maybe take a few blocks with us. Some wooden blocks to raise that up if they don't reach high enough. You know, if it's uh, the ground's not. How's that, babe? Gonna, I think we're going to tell a big old difference. All right, guys, let's go to the back and we'll do the back real quick. Definitely certain campers, like ours, you really can't, or it don't look like a good place to put the scissor jacks on. Yeah, well, they, just, they didn't really give us that, because if we drill in the back of this, if you drill in this bumper, you got bolts up in the bumper and you can't store your hose there. And of course our hose is there. Your black water tank hose. There we go. Oh, yours didn't. Mine's like all the way up over here. <laughs> well, I suppose it's, that's what I'm saying. That's why you need extra, extra, uh. And these are for stabilizing only, no lifting. All right, guys, we'll go check it out and see how it works. Manny, don't get around those stabilization jacks just in case they do fall out while we're jumping around. And... Wow. 
Big <laughs> difference, huh? Wow. Big difference. <laughs> I can't show you shake. Don't shake it, shake it with me. Big difference. It is. Like when you're walking around, anything ain't shaking now. I mean, it feels more stable, don't it? Big time. Yes. That's going to help out a whole lot. Yes, it will. Looks like they're going to help out a whole lot, huh? Wife the camper. Yes, they are, handy camper. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a, a better option than permanently mounting something on there. And they're pretty quick, pretty quick and easy. You just need to make sure that you carry plenty of uh, blocks with you just in case. Because um, you can see on this side here, that that one is up a whole lot higher than this one because of the space that it's in. So, I mean, well, there we go, guys. Stay tuned for more camper videos. Yeah, stay tuned for more camper videos. Putting out quite a few of the things that we're learning as new camper owners about what we need and what we don't need. I mean, because you think... You think you're gonna need all this stuff and you throw all kinds of crap in there but you don't you don't need all that stuff i mean we have really learned what we need and what we don't need and we're going to do a video about it so check it out and always plan prepare and practice and yeah all right guys if you enjoyed this video please stay tuned for more just like it Go to my channel, click on my playlist to see more camper videos.